All right, so who did we decide to take in the party? All the M's! Hmm. Morpheus, Moose, Moss, Mies, Moose, Amelia. Yep. Mm-mm. Good. All right, so first thing. I'm actually not sure if we have to make the uh, our house bigger. But I think there's a trigger to, to make it happen, so let's see. Oh, the to make the tower, like... Appear bigger? Oh, it's when you come here on the boat, so, like, leave and come back. Yeah, I think this will work. Let's see. With 94 people, yes. Hey! Let's I'm, see how things have changed. The we have banner. a flag. That, that's how things have changed. We have a banner. That's kind of swanky. Yeah, I like it. All right, so that's taken care of that. I mean, I guess we might as well. It's not like the enemy doesn't know this is our headquarters. <laughs> right. They did send thousands of soldiers to the coastline. To, to angrily shake their spears at us. I feel like one well-placed trebuchet could have taken care of the entire Liberation Army. Probably. It's actually a pretty long distance, though, to actually make that shot. They would have had a hard time landing it, I think. You need grub. Do need grub. So where are we flying? We are heading back to the mountain because now that I had, now that our castle's bigger, and we have. Uh, I take it you the, don't get to control this. No, I do not. We That's have the full complement of smiths. I think we can get mace now. I don't feel like well. No, I guess there would have been some areas in this game you would have been able to get to you shouldn't have been able to get to if you had that dragon. Like, probably. they had to still probably restrict your movement at this point. Right. Because that's the nice thing about the blink mirror is it clearly restricts you to places you've been already. Mm-hmm. So that makes it real easy to, to kind of control where you go. Yeah. Basic rule of teleportation. Must have been there first. All right, Aww, fatty. He's back. To <laughs> power level the smiths. I love that they all have, like, the stronger versions of hammers, too. Yeah. And they're all giving you the over-the-shoulder smile. <laughs> like they're posing from a time photo in the early 1900s. The smiths. We're gonna build this thing gutta by gutta. Five levels. <laughs> level by level. Yeah, we got money again. A little, anyways. All right. Let's go get Forge the final. Forge the final? He is the last of the Smiths, yeah? Forge the fifth? As you were saying, he's Master uh, Morrissey. <laughs> right. Yeah. Please, 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 let me get what I want. You taught us to hit things and make them sharper, and hit things and make them sharper we did. I'm so proud of all of you. I was planning to rot here alone. Yep. Man. Not the happiest. No, come on. No, can we take that awesome sword on this table? Or no? We cannot. Aw. We don't really have anyone that could use it, though. Anyways. Alright, that's all we gotta do here. I believe at this point we can go get that character that I mentioned at a... Uh, in that town. The one who's supposed to be in the inn. I think he's available now. Mm. If not, it's just a quick teleport. Do it a little. Still don't have enough people to go get Leon. We can check. Because there's a little, there's a bit of a sequence trigger with his recruitment specifically. Okay. Like basically, Mathayu has to be available. Oh, okay. And I think if we talk to Mathayu right now, it'll, it'll trigger a sequence. But let's let's go find out. I think we're at the point now where anyone who is waiting for us to like, become a bigger army is now available for Good, Yeah, they're, they're cool with us at this point. Yeah, I think we've hit that last threshold. Oh my god, go away, dude. Bing. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of uh, recruiting today since um, the next area is pretty short. And it's like the last small area before we start getting into the final stretch. Oh, second to last. Alright, everybody, back in the basket. <laughs> so, uh, what happens if you blink mirror here? Does the dragon know to go home? 
Uh, you can't blink mirror here. Oh, that's right. You can't inside the dungeon, so. Yeah. So you, you have to Although, what happens if you use the exit item? You, you can't in dungeons. It's not an escape rope. Oh, okay. That, that would uh, trivialize escape ropes. I think there are some games out there. Like, I can't think of any right now, but they give you like teleport spells real early. And it really trivializes a lot of dungeons. I always thought it was weird FF4 had the um, blink, which took you one floor of the dungeon. Yeah, warp took you to the previous warp, floor, yeah. and exit or blink or whatever, but yeah. it just took you out. Need to have multiple spells of that category. Yeah. Usually it's kind of one and, and done. Oh, the warp spell has one of my favorite uh, bugs in the game. Have we thrown anybody in that jail yet? No. In the basement? I feel like we need to do that at some point. Eh, maybe. When All are right. we going to use that? No more smiths. I'm not answering your question. Hee hee hee. No, I don't want wine, dude. I, mean, I personally am not opposed to wine, but my character does not want wine. In any event, let's uh, get out. Clear everybody out and start over. Now we're back on plot. Yeah, I think, uh, sort of. It's still a little bit of recruiting, but I just want to get everyone that I actually want in my party. Right, yeah, we don't need party. to take anyone else to go get... I believe we do not. I think we're kind of free to do as we will here. Hey, I see you down there. Sorry, uh, Marcus. Take Luke, I guess. Yeah, because we still haven't recruited... Uh, I, yeah, I think we can go get him now. Your other caster? Yeah. I'm just waiting on Victor, so in the meantime... If you leave an empty space in your party and you go to recruit, will they fill that space? Or no? They just still come back to the tower. What? If you take, oh, like, five people instead of six, would they join your party or they just <coughs> come back to the tower? Uh... I think in the second game, they would automatically join your party. I don't know in this one, because I've never... Kryn? Oh, you're up to no good if you're putting Kryn in the party. Eh. You can't, know something. Can't really think of anywhere else to put him right now, or anyone else to put in there right now. And I also might know something. Anyways, let's go uh, check out a couple places, see if they have people now. Sure. Because I like people. Bidi -bidi. Such a good hook. Yeah. Underrated, I say. Hmm. Nice. I already cleaned out the pirate fortress. So, number one. Let's go check out... We'll go to Kirov first. Because if we go to collect it, it puts us on the other end, and that just gets kind of annoying. Gotcha. I don't have my help in spells, do I? Oh, yeah. This is uh, Silverberg's. Yep, let's Enjoy. see if he uh, wants to talk to us now. Do, 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 do. Shelled out town. This town is not having a good day. Hello. My, how it's grown. We will. Okay, yeah, that's the trigger. So now we can go talk to our dude. Oh, and now Matthew will respond to that? Yes. Alright, so, yes, we can get him. Cool. Leon's a get. Yep. So, we'll... So, Dessa's brother? I actually don't know the relationship. But we'll come back to him in just a moment. Let's check out... Rykon. See if other dude is here. I think he should be at this point. Oh, the person in the end you were talking about before. Right. No. Nope. Well, I'll save anyways. Or rest. And save. Yeah, get those uh, stacks of hell back. Pretty much. <laughs> I thought you were, like, making a joke or something. Like, oh, nope, the spell's actually called Hell. Mm-hmm. Man, we've been playing this game for almost 14 hours. How time flies. It's the best kind. Guy, he's really not here yet? That's really annoying. Maybe if I leave and come back? Mm -hmm. We'll give it one try. If not, then I'll just do it later. Because I could have sworn I can get him by now. This game does have a really funny thing with the triggers and zoning in and out of places. Yeah. It's not as bad as swinging in two. Nope. Yeah, because he's just not here yet. What a punk. Whatever. He does what he wants. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what the hard point is for, for when you need to have all the characters, and we're not right. there yet, so it's... That's always the single most crucial thing in any RPG, is knowing the points of no return. Yep. Like, where you 
would progress to a point that you would skip content or uh, something along those lines. I used to always joke uh, back in the undergrad days that we were going to come up with an NPC for all of our games uh -huh. who was another adventurer, but all he did was follow behind the main party collecting all the loot they skipped. <laughs> and then at the very end of the game, when you got to the last dungeon, he would be a vendor and he would sell all the stuff you missed for, like, insane money. It's so like, oh, I noticed uh, you passed up the rare painting. Don't worry, I picked it up after you guys cleared out the dungeon. I'll sell it to you for 100,000 gold. That's awesome. Just to be like, so nothing in the game was skippable, but your punishment for missing it would have had to been, like, grinding out gold or something. Sure. You know? No, that's really funny. I thought you should do that. Yeah. So there's there's my idea. If anyone wants to run with it, have at. <laughs> <laughs> Your idea, or like my idea. Yoink! I should have brought an escape rope. Oh well. That's right. These things happen. Ten dollars. Yeah, and not, now that I can just kind of tell all the monsters to go on their merry way, sure. it's not that big of a deal. I guess this is one of those times that that rune of ignore enemies you can let go would be kind of neat. Yeah. Cause it, like, oh. Whoa. It's because I have freaking Kryn in my party. Oh. Well, that's all right. Yeah, it's, it sort of, like, averages out your level to determine whether you can just sure. leave them alone or not. And this... And Mr. Level 5... This will get him up to 10. Right. If not, then very close to it. I almost wonder if enemies this far below you would be quicker to free will. Yeah, uh, five levels. 7 to 12. I don't have very many physically strong characters in my party, so, so not. probably not. Alright, we're almost there. I think it's the screen. Oh my god, guys. Not now. Seriously, bitch. Alright, here we go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey man. <laughs> this is Jimmy. Fill him full of daylight. Recruit me? Yes, I've been trapped in this cave forever. Sweet. Alright, so there's our Luke replacement. Yep. And what a replacement he is. Talking high-end uh, magic power? Yeah, he's, uh... I think he has as much or more magic power than Luke. And he already comes with the level 2 wind rune. Oh, we don't even have the one that we got we don't have to equip? On. Don't believe so. Hmm. Convenient. Yeah. I believe that means So also... we have a level 2 fire rune already. We have a level 2 wind rune now. Yep, and Cleo has level 2 water, water rune. rune. Uh, how about the lightning one Flick's using? He's using the level 1. Alright, so we gotta up him at some point. Yeah, and I know exactly where that one is. It's still a little while out. Okay. But and then that's... luckily he's versatile enough to be able to do other things that's besides That's four just... people. Victor, in theory, as a physical person, would be like a fifth. Yeah, well him, him I gave him the clone rune, remember? Right. See, I think this is when I played through this forever ago. I think I kept Valeria instead. Yeah. Because the Falcon Rune, to me, was like, it was hitting harder and didn't have the stagger effect. Yeah, the Falcon Rune is so good. So she kind of became my de facto, like, melee person. Yeah, if I was going to do a melee party, she would be number one. Right. That's the other thing. I'm so programmed to playing RPGs to, like, if I have one way of doing damage that's infinite and one way of doing damage that requires me to go to the end every now and then. Right. Like, my natural instinct's always just like, all right, melee party it is. Yeah, with this game, though, it's just, it's just more expensive. It's, oh, sure. I think it's less... Uh... I'm sure my playthrough is also, like, 50 hours. <laughs> so, yeah, I, not, I have a habit the, of taking my time. Not the things. 14 we're at now. Right. Probably also missed about a dozen stars of Destiny. Yeah, the first time I ever played this game, I think I missed... I want to say it was, like, 12... Something like that. <laughs> this is the best place. All right. All right. One more character to go get. That's not Leon. Right, because we have to go back and talk to Master Matthew. Yeah. To get the dialogue going with Leon Silverberg. Yep. Now this character that we're about to get, assuming he's there, I believe he is, is actually like my favorite character in the series, or at least the first two games, based only on, like, how cool he looks. Interesting. I think, anyways. Like, he's 
If you're playing melee, he's pretty decent because he's really strong and he has a ton of HP. Oh, Vampire Castle. Yeah. He's like a, is it Purple Zombie? No, it's not Purple Zombie. Aw. That would not be the cool guy I'm trying to reference. He's so cool, he barely talks. And when he does, he says gobbledygook. <laughs> Googly goo. 